If I can have everybody's attention, it's my pleasure to welcome you to the Blade Magazine 2013 Awards Banquet of the Blade Show and Living Ready Expo. I'm making our first awards presentation is Blade Magazine Managing Editor Joe Kurtzman. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Blade Magazine 2013 Publisher, uh, Publishers Award, Joyce Latour. Wow, talk about a blind side. Thank you guys. You are going to make me cry, don't do it. But an amazing group of people. This industry is unlike anything else. My hat's off to every one of you. And thank you, Spider Co., for giving me a chance. Presenting the Industry Achievement Award is one of the four founders of the American Bladesmith Society, ladies and gents, B.R. Hughes. This gentleman has achieved all sorts of things, not only in America, but across the world. And his impact will be felt for many, many years. It gives me great pleasure to introduce you to that, Mr. Joe Keesler. Thank Blade Magazine and, and all the good things that they do, and thank you all very much. I appreciate it. Presenting the award for the accessory of the year, Larry the Hammer Harley. Thank you all. Uh, I'll do this as quick as possible so we won't have to look at me too long. The winner of the accessory of the year goes to Columbia River Knife and Tool, the Ken Onion Survival. Pass off. Thank you all so much. Um, I love this place. I love what I do. It does. And uh, CRKT has been really good to me, so I don't know what else to say. Thank you. This is always a treat. Thanks very much. We appreciate it. And. Uh, this is a good industry. It's a great industry. It's not a big industry, but it's a close industry. And thanks very much for this is a great honor. We appreciate it. Ladies and gents, here to present the Kitchen Knife of the Year, Debbie the Jammer Myers. The winner of the Blade Magazine 2013 Kitchen Knife of the Year is Ken Onion Chef Works. It's so cool to be able to be back in a kitchen knife again. I'm having a blast. Thanks. I echo everything that everybody said about this industry. You're a fantastic bunch. I'm really glad to be back in it. Thank you very much. Ten years ago, I was given the opportunity to be the custodian for Shun, and I thank Jack Igarashi very much for that opportunity. He brought me into this world and I got to find a home that I really love. And then seven months ago, Ken brought me back and uh, he brought me into his shop. He sat me down. He says, I love you like a brother and I got your back. And I want everybody to know, Ken, I love you. You are, you are my brother and I will always have your back. Thank you so much for this opportunity. It's good to be back. Presenting the Blade Magazine 2013 Investor Collector Knife of the Year is Blade Magazine Ad Sales Guru, Lori Hallman. And the winner of the Blade Magazine 2013 Investor Collector Knife of the Year is ProTech for the new part. Well, we're at ProTech fairly new to these wonderful pieces of acrylic, but uh, we, we do appreciate them very much. Uh, I'm honored and thrilled to be up here receiving this. Thank you to my father, Alan, who taught me a love for entrepreneurship and a love for the knife business. I love what I do, and I love this industry. Thank you very much. All right, winner of the Blade Magazine Knife Cooperation of the Year is Microtech and Mick Strider. Hey guys, uh, Hank Greenberg with Microtech Knives. Uh, it's an honor and a half to be up here and sharing this you know, great night with everybody. We, we love you guys and uh, 
you know, let's just keep the industry strong and keep working together. Just especially like to thank uh, Mick and Marissa Strider for giving us an opportunity to work with them on this new project, the Microtech staff. It's been a good run and a lot of fun. Thank you. Presenting the uh, award for the best buy of the year is the indoctrination of the new Miss Hammer Jr. The winner of the Blade Magazine 2013 Best Buy of the Year is Columbia River for the endorser. Uh, thank you, everybody. This is great uh, collaboration uh, with Matthew Lurch. Uh, we worked with him. You know, all this, all this means a lot. You know, the greatest part is the, the team we have at CRKT. It, it's a good team. Thank you. The winner of the Blade Magazine's 2013 Manufacturing Quality Award is Chris Reeve Knives for the company's entire line. Well, I've been here so many times, so we'll keep this short. Thank you. Each year we recognize a person that sitting Hall of Fame members vote into the Blade Magazine Cutlery Hall of Fame. I am humbled and honored that this year's inductee asked me to officially induct him. He has been a knife maker since 1963, which makes this his 50th anniversary of knife making. He was a knife maker when that meant one of a few, when tools were only basic and it was all in the hands. According to our inductee, I consider myself fortunate to have started in, or to have started in the dark ages of knife making. Those of us who were getting started in those early years used whatever we had and made the most of it. We had to be inventive problem solvers or else we wouldn't have gotten too far. I believe that if you can't learn to do something with simple tools, then all the fancy tools will not do much good. As he said, our old Westinghouse washing machine wore out, but the motor was good. So I made my first grinder out of it. It was a real piece of work. The grinding wheel and adapter came from Sears, and the switch came from a second-hand store. An old cookie sheet was bent up and around to make a guard, and the whole mess was bolted down to an old bookcase. It was underpowered and ran too slow, but it did work well enough to grind out my first 20 knives. His writings on the importance of testing, forging, and how the proper heat treating of a steel can be as important, if not more important, than the steel itself have helped shed life on these three often misunderstood subjects. Perhaps therein lies the key to our inductee's true genius. He was the product of an era when knife makers guarded most of their methods like the Holy Grail. He was at the forefront of those who gave freely of those so-called secrets in the pages of Blade. And when the internet came along, he embraced it and spread his knife making gospel online to budding knife makers everywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2013 inductee into the Blade Magazine Cutlery Hall of Fame, Wayne Goddard. I might add that all of us who know Wayne and knew Phyllis wish they could be here too, but as I mentioned earlier, they are here in spirit, and it is that spirit that helps make the Blade Show the world's best knife show. Thank you. The most innovative imported the knife design of the year, notice how quick I just roll right through this, is uh, Columbia River Knife and Two. Ken Onion Swindle. Ken, I'm just gonna put a chair up here, okay? I, mean, I almost feel embarrassed about this. Thank you so much. Thanks, CRKT. Um, this is awesome, thanks. Rod, take over, save me. <laughs> uh, you know, I, one of the things that I really liked about Mr. Flagg's comments earlier was that he referred to our group as friends. And uh, <laughs> we work together, we work hard together, we laugh, we socialize, it's good stuff. Blade Magazine, thanks for an awesome show, and uh, this is a real honor. Awesome, thank you. The winner of the Blade Magazine 2013 Most Innovative American Design of the Year is Microtech for the DOC Kill Switch.
Thank you very much. I just hope my son just allows me at least like uh, more than one week next time to uh, come up with a new fresh design idea. <laughs> it was extremely difficult and I thank my son Sean because we just worked 15, 16 hour days. The DOC collaboration or at least the collaboration with uh, Mick is, uh, is a four part series which does include the kill switch the flipper and we have a couple more on its way as well. So we're just having a good time and we thank every one of you. Thank you very much. The winner of the Blade Magazine 2013 Imported Knife of the Year is Fox Knives. <laughs> Thank you so much from Maniago, from the small town of Italy. We came here in this big country and thank you America. Thank you for the knife industry. Thank you for much for voting us. Thank you. Presenting the award for the American Made Knife of the Year is Larry Harley. And the winner is Hogel Isiewicz, the EX04. Apparently they're not here, we'll give them their award in the, in the morning. But, uh, the winner of the Blade Magazine 2013 Overall Knife of the Year is Zero Tolerance Model 0454. Thank you very much for this great recognition. So we don't stop to raise a bar, you know, every year. So thank you very much. Thank you for coming and good night.